Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. So UFC 300, uh, historic card. You know, a lot of people are complaining about it, but we're not here to complain. We're here to talk about the fights, and we're going to jump into the headliner. Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. This is a this is a weird weird division is because let's backtrack a little bit of the history of what happened, right? Um, what is it? Uh, Glo no, Yuri defeated Glover. Yes. Became yeah. the champ. He was supposed to return, hurt his shoulder. Jamal Hill fought Glover. Yeah. For the title, Jamal Hill beat Glover. Yes. Became the champ. He hurt himself before it was an Achilles injury, before his first title defense. He relinquished the title just like Yuri did. Um, and then Yuri came back and fought Pereira for the, you know, for the vacant title. Pereira knocked out Yuri in that fight. Now we got the fight that we should be having, to be honest with you, right? This is the fight that should be happening in the light heavyweight division. Jamal Hill returning from that injury uh, to face the champ. Pereira, um, this is a this is a crazy matchup, right? The reason why it's crazy is because both these guys are strikers that do not care for any kind of ground game, and and they're facing each other, and they've been in the media talking about how they're gonna knock each other out, and this is the type of fight you want in a main event, especially with the title on the line. Yeah. Um, let's let's talk about how long Jamal Hill has been out for. He's been out for, let's, let me take a look at this. Uh, he's been out since January of 2023. Wow. Yeah. It's been a while. Time yes. flies. Well, man. that's the last time he fought, which was the Glover fight yeah. where he won the title. So that's January of 2023. He's returning May, is April, oh no, April 2024. So he's been away from the game Here. for a long time. Yeah. You know, and... I don't think he's had Achilles a layoff injuries. like this. Yeah, and it's Achilles injury. Yeah, That's what Kobe Bryant had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those take forever they to heal, They take right? forever. Yeah. It almost seems like he came back. Too early? No, it's not too early, but he recovered. Pretty fast. Pretty fast, yeah, right? Yeah, I see. Because we, you know, he didn't really, like, document his, uh, his recovery or anything like that. But he's been out for a while, so that's going to be part of the narrative heading into this fight right. is the inactivity. Pereira, this man... Very active. Uh, very active. Probably one of the most active, if not the most active on the roster, right? Like it's pretty much as tough as, like, matchups can get, just one after yeah. another, too. Yeah. Well, with this fight, you know what I mean? Um, you guys got to think of it like this. Someone's going to get knocked out. No, 100%. <laughs> Someone's going to get knocked out. We could talk about the angles and, like, game planning and all that. Once they step into the cage, someone's going to get knocked out. Yeah. That's what's going to happen, oh, yeah. right? And it's not about who lands first. It's about who lands in the right spot because they both have crazy power, right? And, uh, and the styles are so unique, too, because you got Pereira, who's a decorated striker from the kickboxing world, right? And, and his, he fights with his hands down. And you got Jamal Hill, who's basically a street fighter, that turned into a mixed martial artist. Mm. If you if you look at his style, you kind of see it, right? The way he stands, it's so different from anybody else, right? It it it, it reminds me of someone that is a, a street fighter. Like it reminds me of a kid that I probably fought when I was in like middle school in the street. Back when you fought on the streets. Yeah. It's like, oh, I recognize <laughs> yeah, that stance. <laughs> I do, I do recognize that stance, and the way he does kind of like approach the game. Uh -huh. It's different from anybody else. And, you know, he's he's a jiu-jitsu guy. You know that, right? Right. He comes from the jiu-jitsu world. Like, he's, that's his base. He prefers to strike. Exactly. That's so interesting. Well, that's what the, the, the sport is turning into now, as of late. Is yeah. anybody that, you know, has, like, jiu-jitsu or, or has, like, a good wrestling, they, they use that to stand back up mm. and to strike. Right, and right. to fight starts on the feet exactly right and and people are getting 
they're in love with it. You know, it's been around for a while, but it seems like it's getting more and more prevalent, even with the styles and, and the way that fighters are training nowadays. They're more focused on the striking because yeah. that's what pays the bills in in well, in many ways. But we saw it with like, even like Woodley, like when yeah. when Tyrone Woodley was fighting and everything. Like at first when he came in, he was wrestle wrestling everybody, and then next thing you know, all he's throwing is is that you know yeah that cross to knock everybody out, and then saw it with Usman. Usman used to wrestle yeah. everybody, and then no, next thing you know, he's Marking Masvidal, yeah, yeah, and and it's like so you definitely see the guys, especially with wrestling backgrounds, and I think it's because they can dictate kind of where the fight goes right. a bit more, right? If they really want to take you down, they can mm -hmm. and they will, but it seems like they're like falling in love with their hands a little bit. Yeah, even like the early Gaethje fights, like I think yeah, I watched some of Gaethje's them. Gaethje's a wrestler. Right, and he, he was, like, throwing people, I think. In, yeah. And you could tell there were, like, earlier on, like, promotions. Definitely not in the UFC. And then at some point, it would have switched. Uh, Mike Chandler, also, like, I think a Division One walk-on, at least. Yeah. yeah, ended up being an All-American. Yeah, Chandler is a but, really decorated wrestler. Yeah. And all these guys, like, half the time, probably the path of least resistance would be if they just went back to their grappling but right. they fall so in love with the striking yeah and sometimes i wonder if these guys like chandler in particular it's like he has it in his head i want to be exciting mm -hmm. almost more than like i want a solid game plan to win right. to his yeah. detriment almost i guess if like oh like yeah if you look at um chandler's fight with uh poirier right like not like Dustin Poirier isn't a black belt or anything, but like Poirier has knocked out a lot more guys than he's subbed, right? Yeah. So, like, if Chandler didn't go balls to the wall in the very first round, blow his gas tank, which we've seen is usually his Achilles heel, and and didn't just try to go to war, and he just like fundamentally took him down and controlled and found like a way he mm. might have beaten Poirier but he didn't do that <laughs> he went I'm gonna be exciting <laughs> and then like he just struck with somebody who knocks people out who sparks people so it's like <laughs> that's a great fight <laughs> yeah I mean I loved that fight but but like I think I do think Jamal Hill has more of a chance than a lot of people give him credit for. I'm picking Jamal Hill to win this fight. Do you? What are the, the reason, betting odds for it? The, the betting odds is very, very close. It's like he's a very small underdog, mm -hmm. like uh, plus 125, ah, and okay. Pereira's minus 150, which is a slight oh. favorite. Okay. Yep. But Pereira's almost 37 years old. Yeah. Shit. I think a lot of people are forgetting this because he just got into the UFC not too I, long ago. Right, I definitely yeah. forgot that. Yeah, wow. and, and we always know, like we've been seeing it lately, it's like these guys that are older, that are champions, they don't really, you know, they're not gonna last past a certain age, right? Yeah. You don't really see, you don't really see champions at 36 years old, right? Four-time world champion, though. Yeah. Two two divisions in glory, two mm, divisions in the, the UFC, UFC is insane. Insane. Yeah. That he he honestly to me is like in contention to be one of the greatest combat athletes. Oh, ever without a doubt. Like it's insane, right? Yeah, without like, a doubt. Like, hit the pinnacle in two different, yeah. different, but yeah. Sports. I mean, like combat sports, yeah. right? Like. I don't That's think uh, like ring rust will be a factor for Jamal Hill. I don't. Mm -hmm. think the reason so. why I'm picking him, he's younger. Okay. Um, I think he does have more diversity in his skill set. So just in case he needs to use something else outside of the striking, he can. He got mm -hmm. that street skill yes. set, baby. And we got yeah, he got the street <laughs> style too. Like I don't know if Pereira has ever fought somebody like that. Mm -hmm. Pereira is more like. I know his style is very unique in his own because his hands are down, mm -hmm. but he's very, like, he's a kickboxer, yeah. right? A lot of the stuff that he does is different, but it's still a kickboxer, right? But Jamal Hill is, like, he's, it's hard to, he's a street fighter, right? Yeah. So the angles are different. Um, the size, there's no, like, size advantage, really, for either of these guys. Both are 6'4". Um, there's only, like, a one-inch difference oh, in reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, but he's 32. 
Yeah. He's 32. Right. And and the thing about Jamal Hill that I like is he he was the world champ, but he still like talks like he he's like the challenger. Like he is the challenger, but he's been the champ. You know, he never lost. Right. But when he talks, he just has this fire about him, right? It's cool. It's just yeah. like He's so, so like focused on proving people wrong. Right. And I think that that gives you an edge. Yeah, he's not, oh, in, the, not in the mindset of like defending something, yeah. but it's like, I'm going to take this from this other guy. Yeah. Kind of thing. And, and, and his only loss is that submission loss to, uh, to Paul Craig. Was Paul it? Craig. Yeah. But yeah. he had broke his, like his arm dislocated, yeah, right? That was an interesting fight. He, he like, was like fell Paul into the, the guard. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, I think double overhooks pulled guard yeah. and then like tried to go for. Basically, like a bottom submission as soon as possible. Paul Craig, one of the best guards in MMA, right? Yeah. Like, but uh, Jamal Hill, like, you know, he's not a quitter. Right. Like his yeah. arm was dislocated. Oh. And he's still fighting. Yeah. Like it was dangling like a nigga. Yeah, that arm right? was like. <laughs> yeah, and he was still <laughs> fighting. Like, and he, when they pulled him off, he was just like, "What?" You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> You're like, "What do you mean, what?" <laughs> right? This is my third leg. It's, it's like right? your arm's just there. <laughs> yeah. Just like, Oh, rip it off and hit him with it. <laughs> exactly. Like, he, he, yeah. And, you know, I'm not taking anything away from Pereira because he's had a hard life as well. You know what sure, I mean? If we yeah. go over his story. But I think Jamal Hill, just younger, he has that fire. You know, he has that chip on his shoulder. I was going to say he is the chip. Pereira is more of like people are on his bandwagon a lot mm -hmm. more. You know what I mean? Even though we don't hear him like, in interviews speaking English and stuff, but I do peep out some of the stuff that he does. Yeah. And he's not really a guy of many words, right? Right. He'll he's, talk his little trash. He's quiet confident. Yeah. You yeah. Know what but I mean? then people are blowing him up though. Like yeah, he's got like good surprisingly good like internet and social media presence. Oh yeah. His yeah. In YouTube channel is pretty big as well. Yeah. You know, I mean people really don't know because they don't really check it out. But in Brazil it's There's huge, like Brazilian right? fighters with some massive YouTube channels. Yeah. Like Paulo Costa's channel is massive. Well, sure, but yeah. Paulo Costa is also hilarious. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he, is yeah. he is good. He is funny. He is, uh, yeah, he is. He is. The, he the is one of the best. Secret juice. Um, but yeah, like when I look at it, it's like there's no, there's no reason to like break down any kind of fucking technical skill thing. These dudes are gonna go in there. They're gonna have a game plan, of course. Yeah. Uh, but their their game plan is to knock each other's heads off. And I think Jamal Hill, I think he just has a better chin as well. He's cool. been cracked by some dudes, and he's never been dropped, I don't think, in a fight. <laughs> right. Um, and when he cracks dudes, they fall. Uh, so I'm taking Jamal Hill. Nice. I think that's the I think that's the pick. I think he will become the champion. <laughs> and uh, I think he... He might be a champion for a little bit, you know, I mean, at least a couple defenses, right? I don't think it's going to be hot potatoes mm. with the belt. But I'm that. picking Jamal Hill, knockout. I believe it will be in the, the second round. Ooh. That's pretty early. Yeah, I, think, I don't think this fight's going to last very long. Yeah, I, I don't see it getting to the championship rounds, no. that's for sure. No. But it's one of those things where, like... Uh, the reason why I think it's going to be like a hard match for Pereira mm -hmm. is just because like, like you said, with Jamal Hill, he's got different angles and everything. I feel like the more traditional you are, the better it's ju it just is for Pereira. Yeah, like yeah. He just, he's seen all of the traditionalness. Mm -hmm. So then it's going to be the weirdness that comes out and you're like, oh, yeah, more and more predictable <laughs> if you're right. If you're, um, Called fundamentally sound. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like, if you know, an analysis, and it's like, oh, okay, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. I've seen this before. Yeah, it's uh, he's so fearless. Yeah, you know, it's it's a trip to. To see him fight because like, at that level, how like so how he his confidence and yeah. being so fearless in yeah. his striking with his hands down and being in close range as well. And throwing like these, these leg kicks, you know, I mean, they, they're so unorthodox as well. You know I mean? It's just, it's amazing to watch him fight. I'm glad he got into the UFC before it was just too late. Mm -hmm. And we got to see the best of him instantly. It's, it's so crazy too, to think like, it wasn't that many years ago where we were watching Izzy and Potan wasn't doing MMA really or anything. And and everyone was like, oh, well, what about that guy who, like, knocked his out back in glory yeah. and stuff? And then 
And then, oh, wait, I hear he's doing MMA. And then next thing you know, he fucking beats Izzy. Yeah. And then they have a rematch. And then, you know what I mean? And it's just like. Right. He, um, I remember talking to, uh, when Glover was still fighting, I remember interviewing him. And that's when uh, Pereira, like, just got to his gym. Mm -hmm. And he was training there. And then I asked uh, Pereira, uh, Glover, like, yo, what's up with Pereira? Like, wh when's he going to be in the UFC? And he said, next year. And then that next year, he was in the UFC. It's awesome. Yeah. It's crazy, right? But it helps to have someone like that in yeah, your corner yeah, that's coaching you as well. But um, but the only, con like, one concern about Pereira, and it also makes me want to pick Jamal Hill as well, is that is how easy <laughs> Izzy took him down. Mm. Yeah. 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 And that kind of controlled him as well. I think Jamal Hill could do that. I think Jamal Hill is not a wrestler, but I think he has enough skill to where if he wanted to, if he if that was part of the game plan to press him against the cage and maybe even take his back, right, right. get around him. And, you know, I think that could be a possibility. That could, Maybe it's not a knockout. Maybe for, maybe Jamal Hill goes in there and presses prayer against the cage, clinches up with him, see how strong he is, and then, you know, slip to the back, you know what I mean? Right. And, and try to hop on the back. You never know. The win is a win. Yeah, you know, if you knock them out on the feet or if you knock them out on the ground, it's a knockout. Right, yeah. right. And you, and you're a champion. Like, don't limit yourself, right? And I think that could be an, an avenue for, right. uh, for Jamal Hill. I don't think Pereira is even thinking about that. Mm -hmm. His game plan is to stay on the feet, and and work the combinations that that he's focused on in camp, and uh, and whenever the opportunity comes, land that left hook. And see if Jamal Hill can take it. Mm -hmm. If he can take it, then you know you gotta pull out other things, flying knees or whatever you need to do. Right, right. But I think Jamal Hill's gonna be able to go in there. He's gonna get hit a few times, but I think he'll get hit and he'll be like, "Oh, it's not too bad." And he get, <laughs> get 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 confidence from that, and then go in there and let loose and get the win. Mm -hmm. That's my like crystal ball of of what's going to happen. Sounds what do you think's gonna happen? If you can like no, make no, no, a vision. No, I so I. I have like two thoughts. Mm -hmm. Like on on one hand, he just you know, uh, Poetan goes in there. He sees everything. He's able to manage the range the way that he needs to, and then he does what he does like does with everybody. Yeah. And it's an early left hook, oh. and it's an early night, or it's a little more drawn out because Jamal Hill is harder to read moves a little bit harder and then i see hill maybe round two or three mm. getting that knockout but i feel like again maybe because of age and 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 everything like if it's round one it might be potan mm -hmm. and if it's round two or three it's gonna be hill okay that's just sort of how yeah. i see it if it makes sense like yeah because hill maybe he might try to control the pace yeah and like maybe not have it more as action-packed uh, okay. and just get into the fire right away you know what i mean maybe in and out um yeah there's so many possibilities but i could see potan just going in there and landing of the first punch and knocking well, them out that, too. That, that's yeah. the thing yeah. like you know it's just just like that power x man. factor it's that, gonna get dropped oh, man. man we've just seen it so many times right and it's like with Guys that do have chins, like, mm. right. so we gotta respect those hands. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? If you can envision what happens, because we could always go back to this and be like, "Oh yeah, you were right." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't have a great read on like their striking, obviously, but um, I can't imagine it would go to distance. Mm. Like, so probably someone's getting dropped. If it goes the distance, though, that'll be a. Well, it could be a. No, I don't see it being boring. One if it goes the a, distance, yeah, it won't end up like a what was it like an Izzy and Yoel like situation where they both just. I they, hope not. Yeah, I don't think. No, so. I don't think so. Yeah. These guys are aggressive. Yeah, They're yeah, aggressive yeah, yeah. They, and sure. that's why I was like, eh, and then, I think it'd be like a crazy war. That'd be nice. But that's why I just don't see it going that distance. I don't even yeah. see it getting to round four, yeah. just because. Yeah, it's just, yeah, Prairie, like, he's been to the decision twice. I was going to say, how yeah. many UDs does he have? 
He's only been decision twice, and he's won yeah. all of them. Yeah. And Jamal Hill, he's been the decision five times. Oh, wow. But really not many in the UFC, though. Ah, uh, okay. Like, his last fight, Glover, was a decision, but before that, he just racked off, like, Knockout yeah. after knockout yeah, after but knockout. Glover was a decision, but that was a beating. That was a crazy, yeah. That was a beating. That was a beating. That was legit. That was, You're right. I, I remember watching Jamal that. Jamal Hill going, oh beat the God, shit out of him. Beat the piss out of Glover. Yeah. yeah. Forcing him into retirement. So I'm picking Jamal Hill, second round knockout. Max has his dual scenarios. Mm. And, uh, and Shay is saying that. Yeah, he's getting knocked out. Yeah, just surprised it would go to this, then probably. All right. Sounds good.